And we use this to uh, build uh, prototype circuits with uh, temporary connections. And this area, right over here, that's separated by the middle, you have connections going from here to here. It's not connected sideways. And in this gap, there's no connection. Now, at the ends of the protoboard, you, know, you notice these two long rows. You use them f usually for your, your ground or your power. So you can connect, you, you can build your circuit here and connect them to your ground here or maybe your power here or some, something like that. They connect, this, this entire row is just one long connection and this is another long connection here. And it's the same for the other side. Right here we have a prototype for a solar tracker. Now most of the circuit is on the protoboard and we control it with, with an Arduino. This will help us control the motors that are connected to, to the circuit, which uh, will enable, enable the solar panels to track the sun. In this circuit, we're using resistors, photocells, and servo motors. Now the resistors, they're just there to resist current so that our parts won't burn up. It just opposes current so n not too much current passes by. These what you see here, these are photocells. The, re the resistance in increases as light passes through them. The more light they have, the more resistance they, they have. If there's no light, they have almost no resistance. It's kind of like the resistor, but it reacts to light. Now the motors, the servo motors, what are going to move the solar panels in response to the photocells. And now, as you can see the circuit, we start out with the power on the ground. The power would be this red cable, and your ground is this black cable. Now, you see that this red connection, the power, it's connected here, so the entire circuit receives power. And it's, uh, we have another cable to transfer this power, so we can have it on this side also. So we have power on both sides of the circuit. The current flow has to return, and we use that with the ground. We just connect it to ground to complete the circuit. Now you have a ground connection going down this way, and another ground connection going down this way. Parts of the circuit are connected back to the Arduino, like this blue cable, are connected to one of the inputs. The input number one is, is connected to this part of the circuit, and so on and so forth. And the servo motors are also connected to the Arduino so that the Arduino reacts to the, to the photo cells and moves the servo motors ac accordingly. Now, as you can see, you have uh, this resistor is connected to this photo cell. And think of this as one component. All of the rest of these components, they're all connected to the same 5 volt and the same ground. So you call these kind of connections, you call them parallel. Now, this circuit, we want to transfer it to a printed circuit board. We want to etch it into a permanent circuit. Now, but before we do that, we need to draw a schematic diagram. And uh, to start, we would look at the at this power bus and the ground bus. Get all the circuit end up, ends up connecting to this ground and this power bus. So we'll, we'll draw that first. First we draw a long line for the ground. And then we draw another line, not as long, for the, for the volts. There's a lot of small circuits. So we want to draw that. We start out with the photocell. Then that's connected to the resistor. And the resistor is ultimately connected to ground. So that's what we have here. Now in between the resistor and the photocell, there's a connection to going to the Arduino. So in between here, we draw a connection. We just draw it short. Ultimately, we're gonna connect this part to the Arduino. Now, if you can see most of the circuit, it's just this small circuit repeated over and over again. We have it here again. And they're all connected in the middle to the Arduino, each small circuit. So we just draw those. OK, 
Okay. You notice we have this Arduino connection is in between our photo cell and our resistor. Now the it looks like it goes after the resistor, but it's actually in the middle because it, what goes after the resistor is this ground cable that connects to a ground power bu the ground bus. Okay, for the last part of our schematic diagram, we are going to draw the servo motors. The, so the servo motors are there connected to the power bus, this red line that ultimately goes to the Arduino, and this ground bus, they're connected to this ground bus. Now, they're, all, they're both connected to the same power bus, so they're also going to be in parallel. And ultimately connects to a, power, to a ground bus which is this connection. And you notice there's a third connection on the servo motor that connects directly to the Arduino. It doesn't connect to the protoboard. So we just draw this line, which will, at the end, we connect to the Arduino. And we just repeat for the second servo motor. Now, this would be our final schematic diagram. A little more neater. You have our connections number to each input of the Arduino. And here we have our servo motors in parallel to the bus, to the 5 volt, our ground. And each servo has its connection to the Arduino, right here, right here. This, this schematic diagram is now ready to be etched onto a printed circuit board.